On the final play of the third quarter, Tyler Biadish ended up getting rolled onto, and early reports are indicating he may not play the rest of this season, or at least he won't play as the playoffs start. Which means Connor McGovern, a guy who has taken snaps at center, but he hasn't played an entire game at that position, may end up starting. Which also means Tyler Smith, who was the starting left tackle pretty much this entire season, will move over to the left guard spot. And Jason Peters will likely start at left tackle. So today we're going to break down the tape of how Connor McGovern kind of held up over his 18 snaps as well as how the left side of the offensive line held up. Let's jump right into it with this first play right here. This is a six yard pass. Dak Prescott's going to get it to the tight end. But Prescott does take a shot. Let's break down exactly what went wrong on this play. As you guys can see, the defense here is in a cover zero. They're going to basically blitz all six of these guys. And there's only five offensive linemen to pick those six guys up. So technically, someone is going to go unblocked. If you guys watch the tight end here, Schultz, he's going to be the hot read on this play. And the quarterback's going to quickly get the ball out. The quarterback does take a shot. But this isn't anything the offensive line could have controlled. This is just how the game of football works. When you bring one extra player and there aren't enough guys to block, this is kind of what's going to happen. You're going to get a free rusher, but you'll get the ball out quickly. Pretty nice job. Let's go and get to the next rep. You got a six-yard run right here. It's a nice design. It's a draw action play. Really nice job right here by the offensive line. Let's, let's analyze Connor McGovern. He does a pretty nice job. He's going to take a step back and basically get to the inside here of this defensive lineman. Zach Martin's going to get out to number 99. And Smith here is going to get to the inside of number 56. Center does a really nice job showing off that grip strength. Being able to stick with number 93. Make sure 93 isn't able to jump the inside gap. And that allows the running back to pick up 6 yards. That's a nice block right there by Connor McGovern. Now he does technically give up a little bit of ground. You guys can see it from the all 22 angle. As McGovern snaps the ball, he's going to take one step back. And you can see he kind of gets pushed back a little bit. About a yard and a half behind the line of scrimmage. Again, not a major deal in my opinion because again, it is a draw play. And on a draw play, I think you're able to give up a yard or so. And the running back picks up six yards. So this is a nice job right there by the center, Connor McGovern. If you guys watch the left guard here and left tackle, watch the double team. Watch them get physical. Watch them get aggressive and put down number 95 right there. That right there is what I like to see. Uh, when you got two powerful football players, a veteran in Peters, that's what you want, right? You want to be able to put guys down. Six yards, really nice job. Let's get into the next rep. Alrighty guys, you're going to get a TT game right here on the inside. So the center and both guards have to be able to pick it up, process it, and pass it off. Now, there's going to be a little bit of pressure right here from the inside. Dak Prescott does a great job avoiding the sack and stepping up through the pocket. Uh, first and foremost, if you guys watch McGovern, he's going to do a good job getting his hands initially on the one tech, number 93. And he's going to make sure to pass that off. Smith does a good job passing it off as well. Then they're going to get back to number 95. Now, Smith, for some reason, does a really bad job coming back to the right of your screen. I'm not sure exactly what happens with this footwork. Keep in mind, playing guard is different than playing tackle. You're in tighter space playing guard. If you guys watch his feet, they're going to kind of click right there. Not sure what happens. Kind of gets off balance. And you see that number 95 ends up getting to the inside. He's able to swim to the inside. He's able to pressure the quarterback. It's kind of interesting. Again, not a major deal. I think these are some of the things that with reps, you kind of clean up. Keep in mind, Smith and McGovern haven't played guard and center together that much, right? I know these, McGovern's technically taken a couple snaps at center this year. Nothing major, you know, five, six snaps here or there. Uh, but it is interesting to kind of see the pressure that was generated on the interior here because you got to clean this up. Now, there's a chance if the Eagles win this week, the Cowboys will just rest their starters. But McGovern may need to take those snaps. He may need next week to really get used to playing that center position. Because once you get in the playoffs, you're going to be playing the best teams, the best defensive lines. So it's kind of interesting with this play is going into the next rep. I want you guys to watch the center snap here. We're going to watch this in slow motion. I don't think it's a major deal, but it does come out just a little bit to Dak Prescott's right or to the left of your screen. Not a major deal, right? I think it's a pretty nice snap, but I did want to just point that out. It's a little far out. Again, not a major deal. Just want to point that out. Uh, you know, uh, McGovern obviously will have to take those reps and get used to the game speed at center. Uh, practicing center against, you know, guys that are going 50% is different than getting out there and taking on 300-pound guys that want to whoop your ass. Much different, right? Um, so you have to get used to these snaps. 
Uh, so it's just something to kind of keep an eye on. Let's get into the next rep. Check this block out right here. You got a guy in the one technique. There's going to be a pitch play to the right of your screen, which means McGovern has to get to the right side of that defensive lineman. He's going to do an absolute beautiful job reaching, getting to the outside of 72, being able to seal him off. It's a really, really, really nice block by Connor McGovern. You know, I've heard scouts talk about Connor McGovern and kind of talk about how he could potentially be a better option at center than Tyler Biadish. Now, obviously, we see Biadish make these type of blocks. McGovern can do it as well. Just kind of watching some of these plays, McGovern definitely looks the part, in my opinion. Uh, you know, I love him at left guard. Obviously, there's a reason why he's still starting, even with Tyron Smith and Tyler Smith back. There's a reason why he still starts at left guard, right? It's kind of interesting with that being said. Let's go ahead and get into the next rep. Jumping forward into the next rep right here, this is actually going to be the second and seven play in which McGovern ends up giving up a sack. The Tennessee Titans bring an extra guy, so really everyone's in a one-on-one -on -one situation across the board. And McGovern's going to end up losing now. Uh, there are times when offenses will design deep. So let me just back this up into the all-22 angle. You guys can see this is going to be a verticals play in which the quarterback wants to take some sort of deep shot. Uh, the defense isn't a cover three. The ball should have been thrown here, in my opinion. But you can see that Dak just didn't feel comfortable. He just didn't have enough time. Uh, let's look at the individual rep. Let's break this play down. Uh, McGovern does all the right things to start this play, right? And he ends up just getting beat towards the end of this play because he gets caught leaning. He's in a one-on-one -on -one situation here with the defensive tackle, who is in a two-eye technique. He's going to punch him with the left hand. Get both hands on him. The tackle is going to use a left punch with the right arm underneath. It doesn't work. So he's going to just turn it into a bull rush. And initially that's okay, but McGovern tries to lean forward. And then Gray basically swims over the top. When guys get power moves to certain guys that may be inexperienced at a position, those inexperienced players will end up leaning a little bit. And that's exactly what happens on this play. So McGovern leans forward. Gray goes right over the top. And Prescott just doesn't have the time to throw the football. Now, technically, you can look at this play. I wouldn't say that anyone was open. I don't even think Prescott was actually looking at the slot receiver here. I think Prescott was more so looking at the receiver here. And that would have been a bad decision, in my opinion, because that pass gets intercepted here by the top third defender. And I think Prescott saw that, and he ends up just putting the ball down. Uh, so he ends up getting sacked on this play. Uh, again, this is 100% on McGovern. He has to do a better job. And I think he will as he kind of takes those snaps, as he kind of takes more reps at the center position. Uh, I've heard some people say the Cowboys should possibly go out and sign a free agent center. I don't know if I 100% would agree with that because will that guy be ready, whoever it is? Uh, plus, I think McGovern can hold it down for one or two weeks. I think Biadish, if he does have a high ankle spring, should be able to come back in a couple of weeks. Check this block out by the center. Uh, he does a nice job. That's the screen pass here to the wide receiver. And watch 66 on the backside stop number 95. Now, I do like this play in terms of him understanding that if he blocks him straight in the back, this is going to be a penalty. So he's going to just get his arms outwards and he's going to make sure just to seal off number 95. He uses his right hand, gets just enough of him that he's not able to make the tackle. And that allows the field goal to be much easier, right? This is a very successful play, in my opinion. Really nice job by the entire offense line, not just McGovern, uh, but he does a really nice job being able to stop the backside pursuit. That's a good job on his end. With that being said, let's get into the next rep. If you guys watch Tyler Smith on this rep, he's going to end up losing to number 97. 97 throws him to the side, blows this play up. Uh, understand there's only 18 snaps of us watching this unit specifically where McGovern's taking the snaps at center but it is kind of interesting to to watch right because McGovern's playing center which means Smith's playing left guard and Peters is playing left tackle and technically we have seen the left guard and left tackle combo before but with McGovern at center I don't think we've seen that in the past we may have seen it in one game uh, but for the most part this isn't a combo that we've seen a whole ton of so Smith has to get used to that, hey, on these inside zones or on these dual concepts, how is McGovern going to help? Is he going to push out? Is he going to not help at all, right? So these are some of the mental things that these guys are going to have to figure out. Uh, but on this rep right here, he doesn't get any sort of help. He gets controlled by number 97. And 97 is able to shed him to the side and blow this play up. Just something to kind of think about, kind of uh, consider if you're, if you're Tyler Smith, if you're Peters. You know, even Zach Martin... 
uh, and Tyron Smith on the right side, right? Got to really figure out how they're going to communicate and how things are going to work with this new center. Peters is going to jump out to the right of your screen on this rep. And he's going to attack that defensive end. And he's going to get beat right to the inside. It, you can't let that happen right there. Uh, you're putting your quarterback in a bad spot and he basically just throws the football up and it's an incomplete pass. Uh, you can't do that right there. You got to do a better job. If you're going to get out and you're going to cut that split down, basically take it to the defensive end, that's okay. You can 100% do that, but you can't get beat so quickly to the inside the way he does here and put your quarterback in a bad spot. But this is great footwork by Dak Prescott. He sees the pressure. He feels it. He climbs the pocket to avoid the pressure. And he gets the ball out. Um, obviously, I don't know if he was going to throw it to the receiver uh, that he ends up throwing to. I think it's CD Lamb. Uh, he's going to take the shot. I don't know if that was his initial read. Um, hell of a play by the corner right here. Really, really nice shot. But uh, Peters has to do a better job on this play. Um, it's a play action. So these guys are technically going to jump set, which means they're all going to kind of take steps forward. And then Peters, of course, is going to step to the right. Got to do a better job in this play. It can't get beat so quickly to the inside. Just want to point this play out. Remember, there's only 18 snaps, so it's not like we have a whole lot of snaps with this unit. But I did want to look at a lot of these different reps. Even on this one right here, Tyler Smith's going to end up getting beat. He's going to get called for the hold. Uh, in my opinion, you know, I do think this unit can work. I do think McGovern can play center. Smith can go to the inside here, and Peters can play left tackle. But they really have to get used to it, and they really have to be ready for the fight, man. At these type of things right here where Tyler Smith gets beat, he ends up getting caught for the hold, right? This is a penalty. If you get the first down, this is third and ten. If you get the first down, this play's coming back, right, because of that hold right there. So these are the type of things that have to kind of get cleaned up. Uh, Gray here does a great job making contact with Smith. Really nice job just overpowering him, and not a lot of people can do that to Tyler Smith, man. Uh, you got to be one powerful football player to be able to turn Smith this way and bull rush him and get him off balance. To be able to beat him, it's a nice rep right there by that defensive tackle. Let's get into the next play. Now, I want to end this video with this final play right here. You know, the Cowboys didn't have a lot of success running the football with this unit. Um, here's an example. If you guys watch the right tackle and the center, they're both basically going to miss their blocks. And the running back has no shot at being able to do anything. He has two guys right away in the backfield. Uh, really nice shot spinning out of that by Zeke. But, um, you know, these are the type of plays where you got to pick up some sort of yards. Uh, this is a power run to the left of your screen. A simple down blocks by basically the center to right tackle. Simple down blocks. And both the right tackle and center are going to miss. If you guys watch the right tackle, 95 swims to the outside of Smith. If you guys watch the center, 97 is going to jump the inside. Or I should say the left side of your screen of Connor McGovern. Um, and the running back has no shot at this play. Like these, these are simple down blocks. You got to be able to make these blocks right here and let these type of plays work. Again, it's about that developing, uh, really being able to come together as a unit and make sure these type of things work. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I wanted to really break down McGovern. I think there's a lot there with him. Of course, he has to get better over the court next week or so. Specifically, he has to get used to the position. Uh, he has to be able to get to the next level, right? He has to, on this play here, uh, pass off 72 to the left guard, and then he has to get up to number 50, right? He's just a little too slow getting up to number 50 here. Not a major deal. Obviously, we'll you know kind of clean it up as the week approaches in practice. Uh, the best case scenario would be that Tyler Biadish just ends up coming back and the injury's not as bad as it looked. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time with another video.